Hello everybody, this is Ross. And this is Fedora coming to you from CheapWatchReviews.com. And today we're going to be looking at the Orient Rally, otherwise known as the CFT-00004B. A lot of zeros. To get things started, let's take a look at the specs. So one of the things you might notice right off the bat is this is a fairly big watch. It uh, has a 44 millimeter case. Here's my thumb in comparison. Yeah, so you can see it's pretty big. And Fedora has a big thumb. It's also um, a little thinner than some of the other watches we reviewed. It's only uh, 12 millimeters in terms of uh, thickness there. It's pretty much all polished stainless steel. And it's got a screw down case back, which uh, contributes to its 100 meter water resistance. Um, and to talk about that water resistance, uh, of course, this is a more sports oriented watch. It's not a dive watch. And I mean, the 100 meter water resistance sounds like you can go swimming. We wouldn't recommend it. Um, it's more of a style type watch. Um, so Orient calls this a race watch and not like a, I'm white, you're black, whatever type uh, watch. Uh, that was a joke. Um, and we've got um, embossed nine o'clock screw down crown which is rather surprising considering this isn't a dive watch and we also have a four o'clock screw down slide rule dial which Ross will talk about later on and we also have actually a pretty nice uh, display case back um, which you can see the slightly decorated Orient movement and uh, the rotor, which is actually quite nice looking. Um, we also have on the dial the power reserve indicator and a decorated outer case with a coined edge um, sort of style there. The movement is an Orient in-house movement, which is a caliber uh, 46R40 and tends to be pretty accurate. Um, we've experienced probably about maybe six to eight seconds uh, a day difference from the atomic clock, which is you know pretty good. Uh, certainly better than they rate it for. It's got a 40 hour power reserve and as we kind of looked at a little bit, it's got this really nice decorated, um, semi-decorated uh, uh, movement back here. The rotor has some polishing marks on it and that sort of thing. It's, it's really pretty to look at. Um, as far as the, um, uh, the band goes, it's a leather band with white accent stitching, which actually has a pretty nice uh, feel to it, I'd say. Um, and we've got an engraved and machine butterfly deployant clasp, which has a pretty nice feel, um, nice uh, Orient logo. I mean, this isn't just the cheap type of band that you'd expect from a, a cheap watch. I mean, this is a pretty nice piece of uh, um, machine steel. Uh, Orion did a very nice job with this. Um, and the actual leather, you can kind of see the leather, uh, or sorry, the gator print on it. And uh, well, like I said, nice feel. We, you can also get actually a solid stainless steel bracelet uh, with a folding clasp and a push button safety if you opted for that from Orient. I think the most striking thing about this watch is the dial. Um, there's a lot of really interesting details on here. I mean, the first thing you'll notice is it is a semi-skeleton, so you can see the movement going around uh, in the background, uh, which can be pretty cool. It's a, it's a very kind of striking you know, powerful dial with very bold, you know, the, the all red second hand is, is really nice. And um, kind of the, the contrast between the, the black face and the numbers, uh, the white numbers on the slide rule are really cool. And obviously the slide rule is, is a feature in uh, and of itself. You'll see in the chapter in here, there's some numbers and uh, this dial here lets you basically turn the, the chapter ring and you can do some basic calculations on distance, uh, mile per hour, kilometer per hour, uh, multiplication, division, that sort of thing, um, if you so choose. The power reserve indicator at the six o'clock lets you know um, how close it is to dying and you'll see that this one is, is pretty close. We need to wind it a little more. Uh, but really kind of a cool feature. Usually you only see these in more expensive watches and it's a, a flat sapphire crystal. So it actually is a sapphire crystal. Um, which we don't come across too much, you know, for the price point, which is a really nice feature of this watch. Um, I guess one of the other thing, it has a little bit of uh, loom on the hands. It uh, kind of has almost military style spear hands, which are nice and offset nicely with the red um, second hand. But once again, this is not a dive watch, so you're not going to be blown away by the luminescence. Now, um, as far as wrist presence goes, um, it's quite a 
large watch it but at the same time being 44 millimeters and a very small uh, bezel slash chapter ring it does look huge but once again it's not overpowering on the wrist it has nice presence it's flat so it can fit under a shirt cuff and it can be worn in a number of situations dressed up dressed down um, for me personally, I'm not a huge fan of the style. I enjoy more the dive or just um, more classic looking dials. Yeah, I would agree. You know, the, everything about this watch really kind of does feel special, I would say, um, especially for the price point. It feels well manufactured. It kind of has a nice weight to it. Um, you know, the, the overall quality and the fit and finish are great. It's, it's not really my personal style. Um, even though I tend to like leather bands and that sort of thing, and uh, the accuracy is great, but you know the funny thing is, is most of the people I've shown this watch really love the style, so it's really just a personal thing. I know a lot of people who love it, it's, it's really not for me, but I can appreciate all the detail that goes into it, and the slide rule is really cool, um, even though you know it's not my style. Personally, I, I think the slide rule is cool. Uh, I think one thing we could talk about is just kind of the overall feel of the slide roll. You know, it, it has a little bit of a, a, a tick feeling to it. You can kind of feel a little bit of feedback as the numbers line up, which I, I found to be quite nice. Um, but, but for Fedora me, didn't, yeah. yeah, for me, I felt like it's almost more difficult to set the slider. But I mean, let's face it, you're not going to be doing complex uh, derivatives and uh, taking integrals with your slide rules. So to be realistic, this is kind of a moot point. It's not a big deal, but just something we thought uh, you should know. Yeah, but I think everything else about this watch is, is really nice and really impressive. I'm, I'm actually surprised I don't hear more about it. Um, it might just be the, the type of watch people we hang out with tend to gravitate towards the dive style, but it really is a, a beautiful watch in a lot of ways, and, and you get a lot of bang for the buck. Um, you know, the power reserve indicator is, is unique. The, the sapphire crystal is uncommon for a watch kind of in, in this price range. Um, so if it's the store of design you like, I, I highly recommend it.